In this video I will show you how to create such a solid. And here, as a curiosity, I will show you how to thicken the selected wall. Create a new project in the part design module. Select create sketch. Select the XY plane. Then choose create circle and draw a circle with a diameter of 100 mm. Ok. Exit the sketch and add an extrusion at 25 mm. Ok. Then select this face and choose create sketch. To create a sketch on this face. Select create external geometry and select the edge of the circle. Then choose circle drawing and draw a circle anywhere. Select dimensioning diameter. Select this circle and enter 40 mm as the diameter. Then click the right mouse button. Select the center of this circle and the edge of this solid and choose constraint point onto object constraint. Then select this point, select the Y axis and select this constraint again. OK. Click close to exit the sketch and add the pocket operation and as a type select through all and click OK. Then select this edge and this edge and select fillet. And as radius type 10 millimeters and click OK. Now with the control key select these two operations and based on these two operations we will add a circular pattern. Select this operation. The correct axis is selected as the axis of the pattern. And here as the number of occurrences enter 4 and click OK. Now select this face. Select the thickness command. Check the make thickness inwards parameter so that the thickness of the walls is added to the inside of the solid. And here enter 3 mm as the thickness and click OK. And at this point all the walls have the same thickness and I would like the bottom to be 2 mm thicker. To do this select the face of the bottom of the pocket and choose the pad operation. And here enter 2 mm as the extrude length. Click OK. And in this way we added another 2 mm of material on the bottom of this model. We can check this by selecting from the view menu Persistent Section Cut. And here specify the cut relative to the Y axis. OK. And we can clearly see that the bottom is thicker. Uncheck this parameter so that another solid is not created and click close to close this window. And in this way we have created such a solid in which the walls are 3 mm thick and the bottom is 5 mm thick. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.